So ladies and gentlemen, I am not boarding the train of lies. Let me instead tell Kenyans the truth. Reckless and irresponsible loans have sapped financial resources from the productive private sector. Kenya is on the verge of bankruptcy. Our creditors can hardly risk or lend us any more money than they have done. And now, the retiring government has resorted to scorched earth tax policies. Punitive, heavy taxation is applied to anything and everything, from airtime to fuel, electricity, agriculture and manufacturing, and the inputs. Shouldn't Kenyans know why it is cheaper to buy imported eggs, imported milk, imported maize, imported sugar, and tomatoes? In this environment, the dignity of the Kenyan people is badly eroded. State Fuliza. <laughs> has turned Kenya into a pariah society. Kenyans Fuliza 1.2 billion daily. Lastly, last year, Kenyans borrowed 351 billion. Now every other Kenyan is a fugitive with, from Fuliza. With several disguised phones. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, kwa hivyo tusidanganyane ground Nicoba. When, when things were this bad and intolerance was a malignant tumor, Euripides, an Athenian playwright, who lived 480 and 406 BC, had the courage to vow, I would rather die on my feet than live on my knees. I don't know about you, and I don't know about you either, but certainly, I don't want to live on my knees in my own country. Indeed, how can we be proud that the government has bankrupted itself and the people? How can we accept to live on our knees? Kenya is at a dangerous crossroads. The government is suffocating the goose that lays the golden egg. It is borrowing to pay salaries. 